Hello, community group leaders. Um, I was reading a book the other day called Think Again by Adam Grant. Uh, and in that book, he said this. He said, I believe that good teachers introduce new thoughts, but great teachers introduce new ways of thinking. He goes on to say, ultimately, education is more than the information we accumulate in our heads. It's the habits we develop as we keep revising our drafts and the skills we build to keep learning. The reason we picked Genesis to study through first is because I wanted people to be in awe of the mystery of God. There are some things in the text that we just don't know. Um, how many days of creation were there? Uh, what are the Nephilim? Uh, what did, why did people live so long back then? And the list could go on and on and on. Now, I'm not saying we shouldn't study those things or talk about those different issues, but in our search for right answers, please don't miss the, our God of wonders who is wrapped in mystery. You see, right answers causes us to write notes in our notebook, but mystery causes us to worship. As you facilitate the questions we have provided for you, I want to encourage you to leave room for mystery. Leave room for the, I don't know, isn't God awesome? Leave room for the, wow, there are some things in Genesis that are simply beyond our understanding. What that does is move us from being a reporter or a journalist at a press conference interrogating the Bible and puts us in our prop proper place on our knees as worshipers of this great God. May God bless you as you lead people deeper into that mystery.